I've been living in this apartment all my life. I was born and raised in this apartment. A tenement apartment looks like is your tub is in the kitchen. How do I take a shower? Um, take a shower with this. Put, you know, plug it into the sink. Turn it on. Whoever's taking a shower or bath just tells everyone I'm taking a shower or bath. Everyone either stays in that living room or stays in a room. Hop in the tub, turn it on, and you're good to go. If it it's, it's, it's pretty comfortable. I grew up using this bathtub, I'm so used to it. It's kind of unique. We usually use the sink as much as we can, you know, to brush our teeth, wash our hands, you know, uh, clean, clean pots and pans, but there's times where, you know, things don't fit in the sink, so we just uh, use the tub. Uh, you can't stand. You're either squatting or you have like a small chair like this that we're sitting on right now. One practical or logistical reason you might install a bathtub in a kitchen beyond the lack of available dedicated space for that would be the proximity of plumbing already there for running water uh, via a sink in the kitchen. So we're standing in the kitchen of the recreated home of the Baldizi family, who were uh, Sicilian immigrants who called this building home in the early to mid-1930s. You know, what's interesting, I think, is you could see here, this is a really good example of how uh, in this kitchen, you not only have a, a tub, but as you can see, also used as a, as a countertop to prepare meals. When 97 Orchard Street is built in 1863, there are no toilets inside this building. The toilet facilities are actually in the rear yard outside in the back of the building. The 1901 Tenement House Act required that toilets be brought inside a building. And what that resulted in here is a toilet a water closet, two of these per floor. There are four apartments per floor, so you're, you're sharing a toilet with your neighbor and their family. Tenement, really since the middle of the 19th century, if not shortly before, uh, have been the predominant form of housing for the majority of New Yorkers, particularly working class and immigrant New Yorkers. Despite the fact that living in tenement apartments was often challenging, that residents still uh, work to, to, to make a life for their families and themselves here. Growing up in a tenement building, it's, it's very humbling. That's known as the ghettos or the slums. When your friends want to come over to your place, you, you try to avoid it as much as you can. You know, oh, uh, my parents are busy. I can't, I have, you know, my grandpa's over, this and that, you know. But um, as I grew up, as I got older, I just started caring less. I don't forget where I come from. I don't forget my roots. Because of me living in a place like this, it made me appreciate things a lot more. And that helped me a lot in my life.